Hello my beauties, it's your girl Nils by Ray and welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are having a beautiful day and if you're new here, welcome to your new favorite nail channel. In today's video, I'm creating these encapsulated flower nails just in time for the spring season. So sit back, relax, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow me on my socials if you haven't already and let's get on with this video. So we're starting off with my nail tips already on and I'm going to use some dehydrator on my nails. This is a little bit of the nail prep that I show. I don't show everything, but for the sake of the length of the video, I do try to cut it down some. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of my nail prep dehydrator on my natural nails, just drying up any of the oils that my nails naturally produce. And for those of you that are curious to see how I prep my nails and glue down my nail tips, let me know in the comments down below. I will be sure to include it in the next video. So now I'm applying a thin layer of base coat to my ring finger because that is the finger I'm going to start with when placing down my flowers, the dried flowers that I'm going to be using and encapsulating. So I'm going to be using my French press which is my favorite nude from McCart and I'm actually going to use this to do the French tip on the ring finger instead of encapsulating it like I had just mentioned earlier. I just changed my mind for the design I wanted to do last minute. So if you're not familiar with my content on my channel, when I do French tip nails, I usually build them out using poly gel instead of drying them on with gel polish. The reason I do it this way is because even though this method low-key takes more time and work, drawing on a French tip using gel polish and a liner brush is easier when I'm not doing it on my own hand, which I use my own hand for the majority of my content. So now that I have half of my French chip nails completed, I'm going to file them with a hand file and use my e-file afterwards to finesse the smile line. Tell me what you say now, tell me what you say. You said that you would come again. You said that we would remain friends, but you know that I do not depend on nothing or no one. So why would you show up so uninvited? Just change my mind like that. Please don't take this personal. But you ain't shit.
Everybody's like he's no item. Please don't like him. He don't wife him. He one night him. I never listen no. I should have figured though. All the shit you was spitting so unoriginal. But it was you, so I was with it. Then to tell you the truth, which we never did it. Now I'm moving on to the fun part, I'm now going to start laying my base coat on the nails that I'm going to apply my flowers on and encapsulate them. These are the dried flowers that I got from Amazon that I've been dying to use for months. I swear I had a whole nail set planned last year and it never happened so finally in 2024 we are going to be using these and I had no idea how to go about using them so I just cured base coat on my nails so the nail is nice and tacky and after struggling to open these containers I just started putting random flowers all over my nail. When I tell you I was struggling to put these flowers on my nail, y'all gonna see what I'm talking about, but I was struggling and it turned out a little ghetto at first. I started ripping apart the flowers and putting them petal by petal just because the middle part, like the center of the flowers weren't laying down flat and I knew that that would give me a freaking headache. <laughs> when it came time to encapsulate the nails. My original idea to use base coat didn't work, so I decided to use something a little thicker like rhinestone glue, and that's what ended up working for me. Focus on me. Can you focus on me? Baby, can you focus on me? 
So now that the flowers are on my middle finger and my pinky finger, I'm going to use some clear poly gel to encapsulate that part, but I'm not going to cover the entire nail because I'm going to go back in with nude poly gel to create an ombre effect. Makes me wonder who you think playing with. I'm just a myself to keep playing this. Play good back over and over again. Sweat change, but I know that the end. I want you on scene. Think you know your guts are funny to me. That's why you think I left my work this time. Got tired of your shit, you almost threw my mind. So I'm finishing off my French tip nails with this really pretty blue McCart poly gel that I've had for a couple of years now and I've just been meaning to use them. Now it's time for the part that I'm such a perfectionist about. I'm going to be filing my nails with my hand file first and then I'm going to use my e-file to file down and even out the French tip nails as well as my ombre nails and then I will focus on sealing in the cuticles. Just side face, 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 just side face
Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. Right here, I was supposed to encapsulate the nail that had the ombre with a clear poly gel before I file. That's technically how you're supposed to do it, but I forgot. The nails came out good anyway, and I didn't file off the ombre or anything. It's just, this is not exactly how you go about it. I just wanna let you guys know. Now I am going to prepare my nails for the nail art that I'm going to do which is a simple line art but before I do that I'm going to put some base coat on my nails and cure that for about 20 seconds. He was on stop mode, that phone's post one page vogue, no post, chuck too much, broke clip on load, that's like Kodak, NRG, 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 yeah, yeah. Gold links, rock dinner, you know that we do it grind, eh? you know that I'm gonna be extra, and the camera go pop, 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 keep them waiting like that, 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 that. Ooh, la, la, la. That's the way the boys sound when I walk through the black, black, black. Then now Uzi, that doozy. Shut your shot. Winding up in this. Popping up paint and champagne through the ceiling. Sipping it up. Okay, when I tell you the line art for my nails had me messed up, I had to do these ones off camera. I did not know what design, what pattern I wanted to go with. I just kept wiping it off and restarting it. I think I did it about 10 times, y'all. But this is the simple line art that I said I wanted to do. It is very simple. It's just like creating a aesthetically pleasing design or pattern on the nail that kind of works with the rest of the design but doesn't overpower it. Yeah, it's still a no, but it ain't 
rhinestone glue to my nails and then I'm gonna put down some cute flowers that I have and I'm gonna organize them across the nail
getting better. Cash getting larger. He thought he was loving me good. I told him go harder. She thought she was killing that shit. I told him go harder. Look at this echo my gears. So now I'm going to add some caviar beads to the center of each of the flowers. So now I'm on to the finishing touches of this design. I'm going to use these little 3D flowers, oh not flowers, butterflies that I got for free with the poly gel kit I got a while back. Um, using these butterflies I will admit were a bit of a mistake because I think because they were so 3D that they kept breaking and falling off my nail and in the future I'll probably just use flatter butterfly gems because I haven't had a problem with those types of gems in the past. This is my first time using these and they frustrated the hell out of me. So just if you ever think of recreating a nail design like this, please use flatter, less 3D looking butterflies. They looked so beautiful, seriously, they really do, but they did not function well. so last but not least i'm going to top coat the nails and uh the little flowers they look a little yellow but that's just because when they're fresh out of the uv lamp after i cured them they turn a different color but they go back to its natural color in a few seconds if I get you not enough, then it's gonna be some shit But you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spin what you wanna Be who you wanna be But you don't stutter To like me, I keep You can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spin what you wanna Be who you wanna be Fuck it, I just run it up before I go. Would you tell the one my secrets if I let you go? Feel my face, feel an action. These days over my head, it's be blasting. Living in the middle, this in my driving back. Feeling pretty mixed up, but this life shit ain't all bad. We're done, so now it's just time to add the um, cuticle oil to my cuticles. I think I'm gonna start including this part at the end of the video because it's so nice and satisfying. Like, I just love compulsively adding, is that even a word? I don't know. Adding 
cuticle oil to my cuticles just like I love adding lip gloss to my lips okay that is what that is for me Alrighty y'all, so that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and supporting my channel and thank you for the 200 subscribers. I hope you guys loved how these nails came out and if you do, be sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you never miss any uploads from my channel. Follow me on my socials and I will see you in the next video. Bye!